everybody. My name is Kenny and we are Rose Mobile Goat Farm. I'm standing here next to Temba. Temba is a helper here. He's the man behind every success that you see around us here. And we are today going to be talking about one of the things that a lot of farmers oversee when it comes to farming, okay? Uh, I'm actually, guys, going to be teaching you about one little thing that is quite important when it comes to farming. And a lot of farmers, they overlook it. Me, in, in Africa or in Botswana, we do have um, is, uh, our parents knowing about that little thing. But, you know, I got into farming without really realizing uh, that particular thing. And that is the right pigmentation of goats, okay? How to look at the right pigmentation of a female goat or a male boar goat. And what is required? What does the constitution of the boar goat say about the pigmentation of goats? All right. With me here, we have a, a young girl. She has never given birth. She's one year old now. She's a rosemo boar goat female, iwi. Uh, every time when you select your goats, you look at uh, the head. The head of a goat is beautiful and the horns also are going backwards nicely as you can see here the length from the the neck also is beautiful the legs are quite strong okay so also it has length proper length as well as the depth it has never given birth this goat has never given birth we look also at the rump the rump of this goat is just desirable i just love everything about this goat but there's a reason that i've picked up this road this goat okay and that reason is the pigmentation we're going to be talking about the right pigmentation for goat farmer okay what is the right pigmentation the right pigmentation of a bro goat it's a goat that has black pigmentation 100 percent. that is an ideal pigmentation of a bro goat okay and then there is an exceptional and a goat can be just perfect just like this goat and then uh, because of the pigmentation it goes into being a flock okay now the black pigmentation can be black the ideal one is black okay the reason why the constitution says the right pigmentation is black is because these animals they have to travel longer distances to go and look for feed and when they do have pink or light pink or, or other colors on that pigmentation uh, we live in Africa and Africa is super hot where we live especially in the southern Africa it's super hot so that's why in our Sotswana people they always say Pudi in Ali cancer it means our goat with the light skin pigmentation light pink pigmentation they say it has cancer and probably they are right because if they go into the grazing area and when they go into the grazing area and the harsh conditions are harsh you know it's hot out there it can always develop uh wounds and you can always treat it non-stop so they keep on saying it has cancer and that cancer sometimes that goat cannot be mated that goat cannot give birth okay so the, the pigmentation i'm talking about the back of this goat okay so you can see now this is not an ideal pigmentation an ideal pigmentation it's supposed to be black the whole of this part and even the tail the bam bam and everything that is here it's supposed to be black okay now we can look at this uh, at the back it has uh, black spots that are there is the pink light pink one and then the black spot okay now a, a, a pure totally awesome goat it's supposed to be all black but now here we have 50 percent of light pink and 50 percent of black spots so this is regarded as a flock animal it's accepted for breeding it because of the 50 50 percent 50 light skin uh, 50 pink and then 50 percent of the black but supposedly it was all light pink it's a cull defect. You are not supposed to buy an animal that has a cull defect like that because it's likely that that goat will breed the kids just like light pink also. And then you will end up having wounds in summer time. A goat like that with light skin, sometimes it ends up having uh, wounds at the back. And then a lot of people, our local forefathers and ancestors, they will always say it has cancer at the back. So 
this is the pigmentation that we are talking about i'm also going to be showing you something guys okay so also look at the teeth of this goat okay these teeth are uh, light pink and also the dots are a little bit black black dots also so a teeth like this uh uh you can actually say yes i can breed with a goat like this but if they were all light pink there was going to be a problem because this goat can end up passing all the genetics of light skin and uh, not the darkest uh, pigmentation into the kids but like this uh, due to the constitution of of uh, of bro goat society it says it's a flock animal that's why we keep it okay but uh you have to also look at the overall of the animal is it something is it an animal that you want to keep is it an animal that you can breed with okay and sometimes try and see its progeny first see the kids first if the kids come with black uh, pigmentation it then means you can breed with it okay i'm gonna now grab another goat okay i'm gonna grab another goat and show you the perfect pigmentation that you are supposed to have at your farm all right Tamba, you can leave this one okay okay now i've showed you an animal with a pigmentation of light skin pink okay with dots now i want to show you an animal with proper dark skin which is the pigmentation okay pigmentation needs to be super black okay let's look at this female we call it Mosadi Mogolo in our Rosemobo goat farm. This Mosadi Mogolo goat, it's a stud animal. These two tags means it has been judged two times. It was judged where it was purchased and it was judged where it lived. So this goat is perfectly fine. The head is nice. The horns are flowing. Look at the length of the goat. Look at the depth of this goat. Okay, everything about this goat is just phenomenal. Phenomenal. Okay, now let's check. So, the pigmentation, I'm talking about this, okay? Now, look at this pigmentation. The pigmentation of this animal, it's just fine. It's black. Now, because it is also studded, it means the judge has checked the teeth and the back of this animal and approved that it is a stud animal. A stud animal, it's an animal with few errors. A stud animal is a full blood bro goat a female or a buck now this goat has everything even the other the teeth are super black okay so today's topic guys it's just simple is the pigmentation of our animals okay when you buy a goat always look at the pigmentation all the time okay if the pigmentation is not right you might end up breeding cull animals into the society and nobody is going to be able to buy them so look at this animal how beautiful she is and everything ticks boxes of course it's a bad hair day i didn't brush it i didn't uh, do much on it but it's a perfect animal i just love it all right guys we have come to the end of this video it has been phenomenal i love you guys don't forget to subscribe to like and also to ring the bell we love you guys. We are Rosemo. Let's grow bigger and better together. See you next time. God bless.